This is really terrifying, having to do with methane leaking into our atmosphere again. Scientists find huge area of Arctic Ocean boiling with methane bubbles. This is by the Mind Unleashed. And this is the most powerful seep I have ever been able to observe. And no one has ever recorded anything similar. Scientists studying the consequences of methane emissions from underwater permafrost in the Arctic Ocean announced this week that they found a 50 square foot area of the East Siberian Sea boiling with methane bubbles. Quote, this is the most powerful seep I've ever been able to observe, and quote, lead scientist Igor Semiletov said on Monday using a term for methane gas bubbling up from the seafloor to the surface. He said no one has ever recorded anything similar. Semiletov is a Russian researcher who's participated in 45 Arctic expeditions. He set out on the academic Mitslav Kaldish last month, that's the ship, the uh, research ship, accompanied by scientists from the United Kingdom, the United States, Italy, the Netherlands, and even Sweden. The discovery was announced in a statement from Russia's Tomsk Polytex Polytechnic University, where Semiletov is a professor. The researchers' findings from the expedition and Semiletov's remarks were translated and reported on Tuesday by The Telegraph UK. And this is what they said, Russian scientists find most powerful ever methane seep in Arctic Ocean. Permafrost is a mix of soil, rocks and sand. It's bound together by ice that stays frozen for two more years straight. As human activity causes global temperatures to rise, the world's permafrost is thawing, releasing ancient bacteria and viruses as well. As greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, that further heat the planet. So it's not just the methane, it's also the ancient bacteria and viruses, God forbid. Now they say, the article goes on to say, compared with carbon dioxide, methane has a shorter lifetime in the atmosphere, but is better at trapping radiation. So methane's impact is more than 25 times greater than that of carbon dioxide over a 100 year period, according to the US Environmental Protection Agency. Experts are increasingly concerned about the consequences of thawing permafrost that's located both beneath land and water in the planet's coldest regions. Last week, the Washington Post reported on stunning and dramatic scenes from a region of eastern Siberia where sections of many older wooden buildings already sag towards the ground, rendered uninhabitable by the unevenly thawing earth, and rivers are rising and running faster, sweeping away entire neighborhoods. The academic Mislav Keldish, uh, the expedition, the research ship, expedition research team, led by Semiletov, traveled to an area of the Arctic Ocean known for methane fountains to study the effect of permafrost thawing. Around the powerful fountain they found east of Bennett Island, the concentration of methane in the atmosphere was more than nine times higher than the global average. Describing the researchers' discovery in the for the, of the fountain based on the university statement, the Telegraph said, when researchers drew near to the emerald-colored water of the methane fountain, they could see how gas was rising to the surface from the black depths of the sea in thousands of bubble strands, according to expedition member Sergei Nikiforov. They took samples of both sediments, water and gas, scooping up the extraordinary large methane bubbles in buckets rather than small plastic capsules and filling several pressurized canisters. The next day, the expedition stumbled upon another giant steep of roughly the same size, even though discovering seeps among, uh, through uh, rough ocean waves is usually harder than finding a needle in a haystack. This is according to what Nikiforov said. The expedition's findings, also reported on Tuesday news, by Newsweek, elicited alarmed reactions from the readers and climate activists the world over, of course. Callum Grieve tweets, our seas are starting to boil with methane. This is not normal. Ray Monk tweets, O-F-U-C-K. 
Right, sea boiling with methane discovered in Siberia. No one had any idea. Now, how long has this been going on, though? That's, that's the other question I have in my mind. A New Zealand chapter of the Extinction Rebellion movement which launched a fresh water, a wave of peaceful acts of civil disobedience around the world on Monday to demand bolder climate policies, tweeted in response to the expedition's discovery. This is why the disruption we caused in very minor is very minor in comparison to what is coming. XR Aotearoa New Zealand tweets, this is why the disruption we caused is very minor in comparison to what's coming. Sea boiling with methane discovered in Siberia. No one has ever recorded anything like this before. This is truly terrifying, tweeted Jim Walsh, an energy policy analyst at the U.S.-based group Food and Water Watch, linking to Newsweek's report, noting scientists concerned about permafrost saw reaching a tipping point. He added that we can get off, uh, we cannot get off fossil fuels fast enough. This is by Jake Johnson on Common Dreams, and it's uh, on the Mind Unleashed in its Creative Commons. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.